Hello there guys, it's Explosive Gaming here and welcome back to another episode of the Decathlon Challenge. This is my mid-season review and obviously you can still see I'm at Shamrock Rovers which we kind of guessed because I'm going to finish the season here, hopefully. Um, so I have managed to regain top spot in the league. So if you can see here I'm on 39 points, 4 points of ahead of Shelbourne I believe. Yep, yeah, it is Shelbourne. So I think it's best to just look at how my fixtures have gone in the last few weeks. So I left you after my All-Ireland Cup Final Triumph and I am unbeaten since then. Uh, a nice 1-0 win over Cork City, away from home on the telly. Uh, and then an emphatic Senior Challenge Cup second round victory over Cherry Orchard, a 4-0 win, which saw I think Carl Shepherd scored in that game. I think you might have got a hat trick. I'm not entirely convinced. No, he only got one. Okay, so quickly got one, Shepard got one. Omen added a goal and Ronan Finn with a rare a rare goal. Uh, and that has seen me be drawn in the senior cup third round against Waterford United, which to give you a brief context of the history, we played these in the final in nineteen eighty six when we lifted this competition. And the last season, I think I went out in the second round or the third round. And Derry City, where they picked up the uh, trophy. Um, but then back to the Premier League division we had. We had a 3-0 win over our rivals, Bohemians. Then we had an emphatic 5-0 League Cup quarterfinal victory against Finn Harps. Which has seen us in the League Cup semi-final, where we have drawn Dundalk. A repeat of last year's semi-final. So quickly got one, and this is the game. Carl Shepard scored four in who um, he's been playing very well uh, and then we played Dundalk who we are due to play in the League Cup semi-final if you look down here uh, these were in second place at the time so a 4-0 victory was brilliant uh, then we played bottom of the table St Pat's which this was a really weird game because Mark quickly managed to pick up two goals in the same minute it was the 13th minute if you look here he put us 2-0 up in the 13th minute uh, and then Connor Murphy pulled one back for St. Pat's. Stefan Silmont put us 3-1 up. And then Murphy, uh, sorry, Kenny, Kenny Brown pulled one back to bring it to 3-2. Murphy put it to 3-3. Then he put extended their lead and put them 4-3 up. And then McGuinness equalised in the 62nd minute. It was the bizarrest game. It was like... It was like pinball in there, like one minute we had the momentum, the next minute they did. And then we've rounded off with a 2-0 victory over UCD. Um, my next game is due to be a Champions Cup Champions Champions Cup Champions qualifier round. It's the second qualifying round and it's obviously the first leg. And we're playing at a team called Omonuia. I don't really know how to say that. Uh, I'm not really sure what country they're from. Oh, Cyprus. They're a Cypriot team then. Um, I've scouted them and they play a 4-4-2 normally so we'll see how that goes um, I'm going to do a live stream of the first and second leg of them because I think that the reason for live streaming these games is because I've stayed at Shamrock Rovers and other seasons trying to earn a bit of a reputation and the Champions Cup is the place that I can actually earn this reputation but going on to my squad now if we look here, it's looking a bit thinner now, my squad. Well, down here, but none of these players actually really seem to play. So, um, this is my main bulk of the squad. And as you can see, Kyle Shepard has actually gone. Um, he's gone back to Reading. The loan ran out and he wouldn't sign a new one. And we couldn't really, we couldn't really afford to give him any extension. But look how good he is. He's grown into a real player at the club this season. He's really put in a lot of hard work and uh, six goals in 12 games four assists the same in half the amount of games he's played he scored the same as he did last season so that's really really encouraging uh, he scored 10 in the first season so that's a bit in 2011 but he didn't play that much last season he didn't get a real run which he has started he started to have after Wes Fletcher's departure this season but Tommy Stewart in recent weeks has stepped up and uh, he scored a few goals um, we've also got a player in on loan from uh, Swansea our feeder club our parent club sorry 
Lee Lucas. He's looking quite a good. He's a defensive midfielder, midfield centre, and he looks like he could be quite a good player for us. But um, as my next fixtures go, obviously I've got the Champions League. And then I return back to Premier Division action against Limerick and Shelbourne. Shelbourne, who are in second place, that'll be a big game to watch. League Cup semi-final as well coming up. So I'm still in all the cups, and my actual aim is to try and win every competition, part of the Champions Cup that I am in this season. But um, for now, I think that's the end of this episode. That brings us to a close. Uh, please like this video or like my um, other live streams definitely worth checking them out because I think they're the most interesting to watch for everyone um, and please subscribe to my channel for the latest live streams that will be coming up in the uh, future thank you for watching goodbye